Hey, well, hi everybody, welcome. Hello darling. Good morning, AK Reject. Gosh, you're so fast to join. <laughs> oh my days. Such a quick one. How are you? Okay, I hope. Hello darling. Good golf is here too. You all are absolutely on the ball. Raring to go. Racing. Welcome. How was things? Actuary, fancy word. Pretty difficult straight off the bat, I would say. So, I have been hard at work over the last 24 hours figuring out how to do some editing. We've got some good progress going on the editing front. Very happy. Did a bit of a test with Stardew this morning. And I've got to say, it's looking rather good. I cannot wait to get started. Probably going to be doing the recording of the first session on Saturday. Um, absolutely fascinating. Can't wait to get on the go for that one. Should be really, really fun. Looking forward to it. I need to get, I need to get the kitty cat on the go. Arty. Yes, where is the cat? The kitty. There is kitty. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Alright, nice. All sets, all sets. Um, what else can we have? Kurt, we have. During the process of actually setting up my test suite, recording in a different room, I actually managed to drop my microphone on my big toe. You hear my voice. You don't hear my voice. Ah. You don't hear me. Don't hear me? That's not good. Oh dear. What have I gone and done? I guess I broke something along the way. Ah. Hey, Bruce. Is that any better now? Can you hear me now? Ohio. Hopefully you can hear me now. We broke all kinds of things here. Hello? Hmm. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hmm. Something's been broken. It's not good, is it? Uh, how about now? I think it's bricked, basically. The weird thing is it shows up fine in my audio mixer. I might have to restart the stream, potentially. Ah. 
a Oh well, um, things are broken, basically. Um, yeah, problems. Well, we have problems. Hmm. It's broken, I guess. Hello? I don't know. Uh, you guys can't hear me. I'm still seeing... I'm still seeing the bar on OBS. Night talk. I regret unplugging things. Ah, how about now? I think I s maybe I unticked track one. Ah, we go. There we go. I unticked track one, and track one is the stream. Why did I untick track one? I don't know. But in any case, that was a mistake. I I turned on VPG. That's the issue that we had. We didn't have VPG. Citizen? Apparently not citizen. So, you didn't hear my whole story because I was, um... I turned off my mic, brilliant. So, um, basically... I was doing some testing earlier. I'm gonna have to explain everything again, but... Uh, yeah. In a nutshell. I did some testing for the ch for the channel, and I was testing for Stardew. We are going to do some recording on Saturday, so we tested the setup for that, and gosh, we tried not to spoiler ourselves, but we just played an old save, and already cool things are starting to happen, so I cannot wait to get started on Saturday with recording for Stardew. And in any case, uh, looks like I might have nearly accidentally broken things by messing around whoops oh classic vpg breaking things victory point kitten breaking stuff man um i suppose i should probably type in a word i don't want us to lose should I put next steal somebody else's word gent oh yeah i'll put a word in i've done my part gent oh my days so I think everything is working now. That's good. Yes. 
I unticked the magic box which made my voice go to the stream. At some point I had a USB area. It said, your USB port cannot power these devices. I was like, what? I'm not a professional, you see. I don't have this. What do you call it when you use the um, non-USB microphones? The They're complicated. I could tell you that much right now. They're pretty complicated. So, um, I XLR, that's the one. Spray. So basically, I uh, got a bit nifty at doing some editing on that software, which is, by the way, really good. Thanks very much again for the suggestion. Um, so I've managed to do some stuff with the audio, with the video. I don't know if you can have overlays the same way you can in o OBS. And I'm guessing you can overlay with text in that in that. I hope so. Absolutely, says. Reject. All right, well, we should be able to do that. I'm going to do my first recording session on Saturday. And you know how I messaged you saying I'm going to figure out how to record, um, send audio into different channels? Well, that's what I did. I actually sent... Well, I did when I did my test earlier, I was recording Stardew and I sent my voice to one audio channel and the game sounds to another audio channel. And then I checked it out in the software and I actually could see, hi Gunner, I could see that I was getting two channels of audio when I could um, isolate either one, which is perfect. So I can adjust the sound in post and all. So really happy with that. It's really good. So got everything all set up. But the one thing that did happen, which I did explain already, but apparently I didn't um, have my mic turned on. Part of that was I was isolating the audio and I want the audio to go to channels one and two or whatever. Effectively, I ended up turning off the audio to the stream for my mic because I'm a pleb. But other than that, I think everything's gone reasonably well with the slight exception that when I was detaching my mic to take it and to a different room while we're recording Stardew, I managed to draw the, drop the microphone on my foot, which has caused no apparent damage to the microphone, fortunately, but my foot now hurts. It landed right on my big toe, and I wonder if the nail's going to end up falling off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's not ideal. Yes, ASRM. Hello. When you lose the toe, not the toe. I mean, it'd be worse if you lost the toe, but when you lose the nail, um, yeah, not ideal. Very nicely done. Oh my gosh, so I'm a little bit discombobulated, but overall happy. It would be worse to lose the toe. Yes, I'm going to say you're probably right that it would be worse to lose the toe. I am in agreement with this. Trib. True. So I can't complain, all things considered. I think I might have also managed to fix the problem with YouTube. Uh, YouTube was always saying, Ow, there is an error. You're not streaming at the correct audio bit rate. Because I was trying to stream at 120 kilob kilobit, and apparently that's not a thing. 128 is the one they want you to do. So now we're streaming at 128 kilobits, apparently. Who knew? I mean... And also, I've got to figure out if I'm going to record in 60 FPS or 50 FPS or some other FPS. Who knows? Oh my gosh, I just sneezed. Orbits. Have we had that one yet? Yeah. Brio. Oops. Brio baby word. Nice. Brio. My toe hurts. It's a bit sore. I don't think the nail will fall off though. I'll probably be fine. Trio. Trio. Hobbit. <laughs> that word. Hobbit. Oh, my porto. Well, at least I didn't break the mic the mic, and I don't think I broke the toe, it's just sore. I um, would be very surprised if I broke the toe. Roti. That sounds delicious. P 
Put some ice on it. Could do. It is very warm right now. Oh, we've been watching Colanta, but no spoilers. Don't be spoiling me, um, Colanta. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Okay, no spoil. Don't spoil me too. Well, we've got we're three weeks behind. Fake D. Um. Okay. Goat. Mm. I think tote is a word. Tote. Toted? Oh, these fake. Toted. Goated. Tote. Totes. Totes. <laughs> <gasps> Todger! <laughs> I love it. I right, see. Coat. Mmm, gated gates. We've had. Gate. Cottage. Octect. Octet. Tage. Oh my gosh. Level 13 only, guys. We've sunk to a new low. This isn't ideal. Maybe I should put some ice on it. De-ice? Okay, it's a sign that I should put ice on it. Alright, I'm going to get some ice. I'm going to take that as a destiny that I need to go and get some ice. I'll be back.
What on earth happened here? There's a massive dirty stain on my keyboard. Well, on my desk, not my keyboard. Massive dirty stain. It looks like my liquid metal has spread everywhere is what it looks like. <sighs> the coffee. No, there's still a massive stain on the carpet from the coffee as well. I guess it's from the bottom of this box. Oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. All right. Uh, the only thing I could find to put on my toe is a frozen one frozen pizza bread. It's just not my day today. I've got, it's a frozen pizza bread. I could, that's the only thing I could find to put on my toe. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, nice. I'm going to put scrub. I don't mind piggybacking on the work of others. Oh, kind of stole it. Oh. Terrible. Scrub. Well, I must say, you all did a good job. I tell you what I found, I found a wet wipe, right? So the wet wipe is going to be used to clean the muck on my desk. But for now, I'm just putting the wet wipe on my toe. My toe's getting hotter and hotter. I'm putting the wet wipe on my toe, it's nice and cool. <sighs> Phew. Fairer. Fairer. But fair. Okay. Fair. Frozen piece of bread. Bloody hell. Hurts. All right. Right, so the the gallium is coming off the desk now. Hopefully I haven't stained my jumper. How did I get liquid metal on my desk, dude? These baby wipes smell good though. I'm a big believer in baby wipes, guys. Baby wipes are life. People monkey. Hmm. Made a massive mess. Classic. A thief. Good word. Gaffer tape is the best chance. I agree. Is gaffer tape a brand or is it like a, a type of tape? I always assumed it was a type. I always assumed it was a type of tape, but. It's not a brand, okay. Because you never know, sometimes things are brands, and 
It's a mystery. All right, chat. I'm going to hold this frozen piece of bread on my toe. You'll do all the legwork. And let me know. School. It's school. Let me know when... Uh, when... Well... Who wants to play a game after this? I'm going to let you choose. Today is going to be Chat Chooses Day. If there's anything terrible, I'll veto it. But if you, you all get to choose what we play, that's the way this is going to work. I'm outsourcing the content to you guys today, he says. As if I don't outsource it to you every day. Ow! Hollows. Good one. Lose? Nice. I've got to say, a frozen piece of bread does not make the best dressing. Also, it's cold on my fingers. Loco? Loco. This is true. Goose. Shoe. Ooh, loch. Amazing. Good one, Bruce. Oh, it was close. Locks. Good job, chat's on the ball. Condor. I've already started eating the pizza bread. Oh. Great movie from the 80s. Don't remember that one. Prune. Don't know. Condor Man. I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah. Perma Ban. Condo, nice. Thirteen subs is good, man. Thirteen subs is very nice. We need to increase those numbers. I've decided. Cordon, very nice. Nice. It's very impressive how good people are at this game, considering it's maybe not their first language. Ah. Connect. Content. Content. Probably. Yeah. Tense. I'll just type with one hand. Oh, 
Octet. Hello, darling. Hey, Heroic Logic, welcome. Octet. Sent. Sent. Three. <laughs> Net. What the heck is that? None. No, no, no that one. Tenon. Tenon. Nonce. Charming. What's a tenon? You not slow. Tossin. <laughs> you not. Do you know what that means, Reject? Do you know what that means? I do love. You do. <laughs> ah. Brilliant. It means now. Pushing. Right. Of course it does. Let's go with that, I guess. Cushion. Five letter words. Punish. Ships. Crush. Hmm. Chips is Ships. good. But ships. Sh ships is chips is not um chins. Chips. Pinch chins. pinches. Maybe. No. Pinches. Pinch. You may be fake backslash. Pinch. Pinch. You might be fake. Yeah. Punch. Pinches. Ah, punch didn't work, so you is definitely Sketch. fake. You is definitely fake. Spinach is good. I think it's misspelled spinach. God, I was right. The word is spinach, guys. Spinach. Very nice. Chaps, you can put. People can. Somebody can put chaps. Somebody can put. Um, Spain. Chaps. Chains. Chains. Oh, yeah, the plurals. So we can put. Something else. Spain. Panic, Siam. Can we put Spain? Snips. No, pains. Panic, Spain. Pains. Ooh, that was hard. Achen. Akins. Chinas. Shane, China. Oh, level 17, guys. Hey, well, it was fun, and at least the mic's working, so let's look on the bright side, huh, guys? Good effort. Good effort. Level 17 is very respectable indeed. Ooh. All right, chat room, what are we going to do then? So who wants to play a game? Let's play board games together, chat. Let me know what you fancy. Who fancies a game? I'm not against another words on stream. If anybody feels strongly about one more words, we could do one more. I feel like we could do better. But we can also just play a game. I'm up, I'm for, up obsession. for obsession, says AK Reject. Ooh. But okay if it doesn't happen. I played it once. Will I remember the rules well enough? Maybe. That's an interesting suggestion. Could well do, yeah. Let me have a look and see if uh, it works with my dark mode and all. Any other suggestions? 
Pateau is not happy at all. Yeah, it's looking respectable. Still need more practice. I will not play Arc Nova. I think you need practice at playing slowly on Arc Nova. That's my call. Hmm. I think I more or less remember this. You know what? Let's play a game. Who's who's played Obsession before? Who's played Obsession? Anybody? I mean, I said I'll play what you guys want to play, so if I was to deny obsession at this point. Nah, I used to play golf, and my rule was if you can't play well, play fast. If you can't play well, play fast. We need to teach you to be slow. No, I mean, I think that's quite a good philosophy. If you're not going to play well, you may as well play fast. I've Don't want to play it's on slow. Need to work, but we'll watch in. Gunner will watch in. Oh, well, 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 it will be a learning experience. I'm going to play neither well nor fast, and that's my rule. All right, so let's try anyway. Okay, so. Where is reject? We're not friends. Are you in the massive list of people who are trying to be my friend. Didn't even want to be my friend. Unbelievable. Are you in here? You're not in here, are you? Guess we're not friends, huh? Ah. Perfect. Ah, right, let's give this a go. Now we are. Let's try this out and see how we get on. I've played this one time, so this will be a refresher game for me as well. As well. well, not for you because you know how to play, but for me it'll be a refresher game. I don't really remember everything probably also it was one of those games where you play it for the first time and the person wants to bring all the expansions so we play with a load of expansions so there's a lot to take in but i think hopefully this will make sense reject must choose a family insults and aggressive behavior are not allowed no idea how to play well ah do you want to play heroic we i don't think we played a game yet All right, so you're playing Ponsonby. How do how do I see the powers of the different ones? Victory point, that's me. Ah, yeah, right. So this one. TBF. I have only played a couple times. Starts with the lady. This one starts with some rep extra reputation, and this one begins with an extra footman. I don't even know what any of this means. Let's. I'm not an expert, but it is one of my favorites. I have to work. I have uh, Friday off, so maybe Friday larks. Ooh, yes, heroic. We'll play something on Friday. Deal. The cabin dishes are the best connected. We'll start with some reputation. Sure, we'll do that. We will have some reputation. So we have 1.4 reputation. And that rechecks us 1.1 reputation. <laughs> oh my gosh. So inreputable. I must host an activity or pass. Oh gosh. Right, so... We have to choose one of these things, and we're going to need somebody to send there, so let's have a look. I am so slovenly, Kappa. Slovenly. So, I remember that you would be... It's a generally a good idea to have this thing flipped over, so that future fair, village fairs make some money. So here, I've got to send two family members to this place. Okay, so who are we going to send? Um, how do we know somebody's a family member for starters? Because they have the Cavendish logo. We've got... And then, these two people. Okay, so I guess we'll send... Essentials is also the building type the Fairchilds are interested in this season. 
Oh, they, they are interested in essentials, huh? Oh, well, that is quite a convenience. So I have to send two of my family members. I'm just debating which one I want to send. Money or reputation? Male prestige guests. We don't have any of those, do we? How would we know if it's prestige guests? They're casual guests, casual guests. Let's save her. I don't know if we're going to be able to use her. Choose a favor or bin somebody off. I don't even know. We'll do this anyway. We're going to go to the study. Um, choose some family members. So this one's going to give some money, I guess. I don't know. And then... I don't know, this guy? Who knows? Sending two peeps. So, two's a favor. One reputation, 100 money. We'll have some more reputation. So we now want a five reputation. May purchase an improvement. So, did I not get some money from this one as well? I feel like I got money from you and money from you. You have two hundred dollars. I got two hundred, one hundred from here, and two hundred. I thought I'd done this one and this one. I should have. Oh yes, because I, I got two hundred, and then, and then that one on reputation. So that's correct. So purchasing an improvement. So would I like to buy one of these things with my two hundred dollars? No, because I can't buy anything because I don't have enough money. Now, I reject must host an activity. So, my little blue bod is now unavailable, which means I can't do a blue bod type activity. This is now flipped. It requires the butler. Let's come back round again. So now I've got to host another activity. It's got to be a, a red or... I've got to use one of these people. They are facilitating the activity. Two gentry. What's a gentry? Is that a, a, a male person? Whist. Two ladies. I can't remember if gentry is men or women or what. Gentry, gentry are, are any guests. guests. Ah. So, who are these two hanging around? We don't look much like them. And why didn't they have a little green man there? That is the question. I think I don't remember this game very well at all. Ah, look, we have some private goals, and we're going to keep some of these. So, for that, we need these two special rooms. For this, we need that type of thing. So this is for this type of tile. Ah, lots of those. And then... Oh, that's very complicated. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do is... Send two ladies over here. Oh, we kind of look you need to do this as well. So maybe we'll do this. So two gentry. Um, how, And does this give us a... A prestige guest. Wow, that's amazing. Let's do this one. So, invite any two guests. I think we'll hold back this lady, because she might, you know, prestigious things might happen. So this guy requires a green to, to be dispatched, right? Right, okay, so we can't send this one. It's going to have to be you. Oh, no. They have to be... That's fine, is it? All right, I'd like draw two and keep one casual guest. I thought I could get a fancy guest this way. Oh, this is the power here. All right, sure. Or we'll dismiss the guest. No, we'll do that. We'll draw some stuff. Oh, this chap is very well connected, you see. Very well connected. We need two reputation to play this guy. But then he can get us some fancy guests. Let's keep you. Mind you, she can also get fancy guests. She's a genteel lady. But this is... Is this a prestige guy? No, it's a casual guest. This one. It's a way to use our purples. She's very nice. 
draw a prestige guest, and this one is draw one casual guest and one prestige. This one's probably better, actually. Okay. Oh my giddy aunt, how complicated. Do we wish to purchase something? Nah, we will not purchase. I have no idea what's going on. But what we do know is that we're all prepared for when the village fair comes. <laughs> Need to sit up straight. I have the spine of a shrimp right now. Okay, let's see. So... We would like to acquire a prestige guest, I think, so where should we send her there? So she requires a little lady's aid, lady's maid, of course, of course she does. Start flipping some of these things. Two ladies. This lady we want to send with a prestige guest. Mm, two gentry. What is this? Oh my gosh, that's a prestige guest idea. Wowzers. We don't have a green, so... I feel like VPG obsession voice could be a thing, D. Err, I say. Rather fancy. A baker, a butler. Two gentry, two ladies. We might have to send you in, my little friend, even though I'd like to and keep you. Stick maker -capper. I think we're going to have to send in the ladies over here. Get some reputation. So we'll send in you and you, my dear. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's a prestigious guest. A four star prestigious guest. These are very complicated to play. I have some dollary doos now. Anything that we need here, I don't need this. And uh, snare. And then anything here? No, I'll skip that for now. That one goes back, and now we're gaining prestige because we've used that. This requires three ladies now. Oh my gosh. We have so much reputation. When do we get our dollar we dues for the village fair? Pounds, my dear. Pounds! Up in the hills in Alderley Hall, you'll see. We do not speak of the unsophisticated dollars that they have elsewhere. What's this? This Viscount. I do not remember how we get all of our cards back. Oh, what's this? Lose to reputation? What a card. Are we going to have to get the Lady of the House to dispatch this bounder? How very dare you. Coming in here, bringing shame upon us. I must discard an objective already. I'm never doing this. Look at this. Get out of here. Far too complicated. We're having a fair. I hope. We, I think we're playing the short version of the game, aren't we? Yes, it does appear so. So it appears that Reject has won the courtship and has chosen Miss Elizabeth Fairchild. How fancy. What would the VPG obsession voice be? I feel like I'm already doing an obsession voice. Okay, what now?
You are indeed. Hmm. I don't remember how we get all of our people back. In our discard pile. When you pass, you redraw your when discard you pass. pile. And take income. Mm, we can't do these two gentlemen, can we? Well, look at this. We're going to be needing another Korean dude, I would say. So let's go here. And hire. Host an activity. Hire two servants. All right, we'll have a green. And what else? There's only one lady's maid left. Come on. Nice. Nice. Hmm. Happens when you click this error. I see. Did we draw more of these? Under butler. Uh -huh. Why did we draw more of those? I see it's over here. I think we could pass. Could use this again. No, we can't use that again. We're going to have to pass. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Purchase an improvement. Would we like a tennis court or a billiards room? Three gentlemen. What's going on in there? Or a long gallery. That seems rather fancy. Required prestige rating five. That is a lot of prestige. So, I'm guessing we can't even purchase this if we don't have the requisite prestige. I could be wrong. You can purchase regardless oh. of prestige. You can purchase regardless of prestige. I see. You just can't use it till you have the prestige. Fair enough, fair enough. Derbyshire's looking rather nice at this moment. Have we got a prestige guest we can play? Not yet. We need to crank up the prestige up in here.
I need the light of their house to remove the the unpleasantness. So two gentry. We can do this one, can we not? Get onto the row side. Okay, so we do want the lady of the house and we can dispatch an unpleasant gentleman. Oh no, that's not the lady of the house. This is the lady of the house. We'd like more prestige as well. This gentleman will give us more prestige. I don't think it's going to cause any scandal if the lady of the house plays uh, plays a bit of bow does a bit of bowling with Colonel Durrumple. Draw and keep. Hmm. There is one issue with this game, which is that it doesn't tell you if people are male or female. It does in the BJ version. But you have to draw your own conclusions from the picture, and I don't much like that. Dismiss a guest. Right, where are you? Get the heck out of my house. Alright, purchase an improvement. Do like the look of the long gallery, where we can look at some nice art. I think that sounds rather fancy, so let's purchase a long gallery. For $600 we dues. Or pounds, I should say. Be respectable. Why do you have so many fair trials over there? Egads. You are rife with fair trials. You must discard an objective. It's not going terribly well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we will get rid of all this. Because why not? Okay, we need to crank our reputation, I would say. And how can we do this? What I'd like to do is get a prestige guest and... and send with an, a nice young lady. However, we're going to have the Oh, we have the reputation to do it now. Okay, where are we going to send these two? We can't use this yet. Three ladies, huh? Two gentry. I guess they can go and play tennis. We do not have the servants to facilitate this activity. Well, that's fine. Get some more servants. And how do we get our hands on an underbutler, darn it? It's a blue tile. To get the underbutler. You guys, everything's going poorly. Let's remind ourselves of how these work. Okay, ladies maid, we have the valet, male, male guests, housekeeper, can be a backup ladies maid, that's right. And then the underbutler can act as any of the male service roles, right? Rather fancy. Okay, let's go what we do what we try to do. Now we have 
somebody who's able to facilitate that activity, we're going to send the young lady of the house together with a very eligible gentleman, a male prestige guest. And that's very fancy, very fancy. We have plenty of cash. What's the next plan? We need to crank our reputation further. Now this... Didn't we just... Oh, she's in the discard, is she? I see. I see, I see. Build this holiday, huh? Can we send three ladies? We don't have three ladies. Mm. Disaster. do this. Ah, more ladies. Oh, they all require... Gonna have to send the housekeeper on a job here. Not you, you're so disreputable. Or far too disreputable. I think we're going to have to purchase more things. I don't even know what this does. Let's purchase it. I do like how most of the Americans in this game will give you money at the cost of reputation. <laughs> Very on brand low. Ooh, well, the cabinet of curiosity is very fancy. Rather fancy. Oh, who's this? A cad? Where did they come from? Those darn cads. He cads. Kinds of butler. Ah, this is a problem. Require another lady's maid to use this. We need housekeeper, 
and two and three ladies maids. I'm gonna need to bring back our lady of the house because these three are very demanding. Unfortunately, we are lacking reputation to do this. Is there any way to get one more reputation? Well, sure there is, yeah. We could do some other activity, I suppose. Double one favor. One prestige gas, double one favor. Well, this is quite good for that one, I suppose. All right. We're going to have to do something lame. Discount an objective? That's kind of lame as well. I'll give up, I'm not giving up on that one. Because we're going to have to do this, lady. Going to have to send you to play some tennis with Earl Cavendish. If anyone's confused as to how this game works, you're not the only one. I roughly understand, but not really. I'm having fun, though. <laughs> So effectively, on your turn, you choose one of these rooms, and then if it's this one, for example, I have to send three ladies I'm and the housekeeper like there. You can only use... Yeah, you need to have the person available to facilitate the activity in here. So here we need the housekeeper who is red, who is in the right place. We need to send three ladies, and ladies typically require a lady's maid, so we're going to need three purple meeples as well, so can't do that one. A bit complicated. Kind of worker placement, card play. Not overly complicated. One of my things has been stolen. I just stole one of your maids too, Frank. Oh no! What we're we going Ooh. to do? We're going to play some tennis. So we're going to need you and the the master of the house. That's just not cricket. It's not cricket, is it? I agree. There is a way to turn that off when creating the game. Sir? We have slight problems now because now we are not going to be able to to do this lady. Unless we have a housekeeper still. 
I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I think I get one uh, action per stepping stone. I don't think you should steal my maids. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one, the Cabinet of Curiosities. And we can go ahead and play... It's going to have to be a lady and a gentleman. Time to play the American, you. Purchase an improvement. Not enough money. All right. We have six point one reputation. Amazing. So much reputation. Now the housekeeper is here, so having our having our maid stolen has actually meant we can't do this. I don't think unless we get one more turn after this, which we might. No, we can't. We can't. We can never actually use this room because our maid was stolen, unfortunately. Unless we get one more turn after this. This fine gentleman. Yeah, we need the housekeeper to uh, double the favor on this one. What can we do? Four gentry, that's not possible. Two gentry, we could do this one again, theoretically. We can't use the butler though. Could do this. I don't think I'm doing anything terribly wrong there. Four hundred dollar redos now. I think six is a good number. I don't know what relevance it has. Can't afford it. Because it costs extra. You can purchase items in the builder's market reserve as well. Okay. Have to discard an objective. Okay. So, it looks like we are getting one more turn, hopefully. Oh no, uh, we didn't do that badly, all things considered. It ended very suddenly, but look, we had quite decent points from reputation. Um, Close game. GG. Didn't get anything from courtship, and that was really the difference. GG. Don't really know what I'm doing, but it was pretty fun. Um, more or less, I was just playing this to get the gist. So, your available servants are here, and they, when they use, they go here, and then they step one step back towards being over here to being available. You choose which room you want to activate on your turn, and then depending on the room. So this requires a prestige guest. This one requires just a butler. This one requires two peeps. You then put the peeps in and they might also require some workers to facilitate them as well. Put them in and you might get some money. You might get new guests. You might get some reputation. The reputation is this track here. 
So I'm on 6.5 repetition and every time you gain some repetition you move around basically you're 6.1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 7 and so forth. Basically that's it. Repetition's worth quite a bit of points at the end of the game. Um, we had some points for these tiles and some points for our gentry too. We scored a few points because one of our endgame goals was to have um, a point per prestige guest. We had a few prestige guests, which are the ones with two little shields underneath. We had a couple of those. And we had some estate tiles. We had two of those. And ten or more servants. Well, we had nine at some point and then one got stolen. So, disaster. GG's! Pretty fun. Not bad game. I think it'd be good to go over the tutorial for that one at some point. Nifty, nifty. What now, chat? I did like it. Good suggestion, Thank Rejects. One of my faves. Yeah, it was cool. It was very neat. Could have a little game of spots. Having played it yesterday, I did enjoy. And then we'll be up for a game of spots. Sure. Gunners in. Maybe we should change things up and not and have random. I could be coerced into a spots game. Coerced. Coerced, huh? That. Love Good. Them doggos. Doges. All right, let's do this. So I guess we'll go with random, randomly generated. Let's go random. And we'll see what we end up with. Because you only actually have six of these tricks. Alright, so this is the standard one, Howling. Roll over, that's standard. Ooh, take seven treats, wow. Return one tree for each spot in your highest unfilled space. Each spot in your highest unfilled space, so this would be... Return six. I guess. Roll eight dice, that's standard. Roll three dice, then if you spend treats to reroll the results, you may choose to reroll only some. Okay. And then chase, roll one dice. You may repeat this trick as many times as you want, but each time you roll one more dice than you just did. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I'm starting with a two in the doghouse, not too, not too bad. Let's go with this, roll three. One, five. Ah, shall I reroll actually? Wait, I thought I was only really rerolling some. That didn't look like some. Rupert is complete. Possibly. You only reroll the two you select. Ah. Selected. That makes sense. It looked from the animation like it was rerolling them all. I do very much like to take extra dog it card as my first action. It does look a bit weird, doesn't it? Doesn't it? This is a good game, you know. I might buy it actually. Guys, look at who's on the top of the on top of the dog pile. The dog pile, get it? Looks on top of the top of the dog pile, guys. Connor's favourites. What's Louise doing on the stairs? Get back here. You've got little Beth again. Alright, shall I score? If I, t if I take this, then I'm only getting one treat, which is 
kind of bad. This is choose a number and place or bury all dice to that number. Yeah, be all right. Be fine, I'm sure. Easy life. So taking Gobble is okay for me now. It would give me seven treats, eight treats, and then I'd have to return like three or something. Or two? Three? That's fine. I'll be five treat. Pretty I good. I was concerned about buying Spot's cause. It was $25 US, but I am so glad I got it. All of the components are top notch. Well worth the money. Is it? Is it true that the dice are actually um, custom dice? Well, not custom, but like they they look a bit blotchy. It's quite interesting. Ah, uh, who took Gobble? Unbelievable. I guess we'll do this. Mine weren't. Just basic black and white dice. Mm, fail. Alright, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Tracking. All right, so here I could get four treats effectively. That seems good. Okay, I just double checked the dive and you were right, Tilda. <laughs> so you check the dice and they're actually they're actually slightly weird blotchy dice not regular the dice spots on the dice are a regular the spots size. are a regular size just like on the uh, on this look the slightly weird dice which i like it gives it some character had to put my reading glasses <laughs> on to check low i just put my reading glasses on brilliant I hope I haven't broken my toe. I don't think I've broken it. Doesn't seem likely that I've broken it. I just enjoy the artwork, and the cardboard pieces are thick and sturdy. Nice. Should we have a new dog? Could do this. I think we get a new dog. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I like it. I, I'm kind also, of tempted there is to a wide variety of tricks, so you can keep the game fresh through a lot of playthroughs. I am kind of tempted to buy it because I do have a fondness for push your luck games. And the artwork is so gorgeous on it. Yeah. 
Reject's turn. Nice. I'm tempted to roll over here. Whoops, I misclicked and ruined myself low. Oops. Six five. Let's go for a better than that. Four four. Six four. Oh dear. Yikes, I was a bit too close for comfort. Roll? Mm, no. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. Nice, so I think some treats would be good. More treats for the BG. My favorite dog is on top of the pile. <laughs> is that a dog? Suspicious. Do I score or do I do this? Let's do this. Ignore the other lull. Two, three. I'll take it. Nice. Why? Oh, you did take it. It's a double paw print dog. Ignore the other. Is it just one other? That's kind of suspicious. Oh no, there's multiple others. Very suspicious dog. Goliath is a big boy as well. This is a very nice implementation on BJ. Alright, what are we doing? I think we should probably clear this out before we start doing anything else. Six and a four. Sure, I guess. I'd rather it wasn't a 6 and a 4, but sure. I'll take it. I'll take it.
Playing spots always makes me want to play space space. I played space space one time on stream. It was a catastrophe. I didn't know what I was doing. Why is my toe so warm? I feel like it's infected, but how can it be infected from something falling on it? Um, take seven treats. Uh, no. Do I want to do this one? I could. A four. A two. Six, five. Three, two. That'll do. Oh my gosh, I just realized Gunner is close to winning. Just needs one more dog. One more dog, huh? Ah, I don't think Gunner's going to do it. <laughs> I mean, there might as well chance that. No, stopping that. Oh my gosh. Reject has got a lot of. Why didn't you go for um, fetch and try and find twos? I feel like fetching would be good as well. Could go fetch for ones. Cause I had a five in my backyard. Too risky for me. Fair enough. Gunner's turn. Needs a four and a one. What happened? Ah, gonna get some tr some treats. Okay, my turn. Let's do this. Five, five, five. Oh, the six. Why the six now? Rip. If it had been anything else, then if it had been a one or something, I could have safely... I could have safely rolled another dice. Uh... Boo. Project is fetching. Some treats.
When it's howling. Howl. Right row. Hey, hey, hey. Well, my after a five. Yolo. Yes, yes, GG. <laughs> GG. GG. <laughs> Risk of ruin was high on the <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Turn spent scoring zero. So in this game, if you of all of your dogs that you own are complete, then they score. You don't have to spend an action to score them. What? Risk Twenty-two treats we had. We had more treats than everyone else combined. We didn't lose a single dice from a dog. Boom! That was pretty fun. I like this game. Didn't spend any turn scoring. Impressive. Yeah. It was a bit sweaty though. I took a chance at the end. If I'd have rolled a four or a six, I would have lost three dogs basically. I don't think it was a very good move. I'd play another one of those. Anyone else for, up for one? It's pretty good. Sure. I could be coerced, Kappa. Coerced? You make it sound like you're not enjoying it. Good girl for now lurking. Sure, buddy. All right. Guys, uh, uh, words high score. What? Hang on a second. Give me just a minute and I'll be right back. No, I just have responsibilities. I am avoiding to play games low. Procrastination Nation represent. I am back. All right. Procrastination Go Nation ahead. represents. Absolutely. All right. Cool. Go and we have a rando ahead. player as well. All right, so I must use a trick. So get another dog. Uh, roll all your berry dice. So that's get your thing back. Chew, double your treats. So we always have these two apparently, and then double your treats, then take one more treat. Double your treats, then take one more treat. Interesting. Roll two dice along with an extra dice for each thing on your dog cards. Roll two dice and then roll one dice. Um,
Let's do this. Oh no. Love a low rep random talking in chat turn one. <laughs> I've got Bert and Missy and Mum. However, I do also have a six in the doghouse, which is not ideal. I got Doog again. Doog! Gonna have to re roll this six, I think. Oh, come on. Shit. Oh, come on. I guess I should have howled. I regret. In a real pr problematic situation with treats now. I was thinking I would just double it a few times and then I'd be set for the game, but I probably should have just kept doubling. I regret my choices. But now, it's not going to be straightforward. Good chase. It's entirely possible to go bust, though. I haven't got a lot to lose, however. Chase gets taken. Oh, dear. Try this again, I guess. All right. is not great. So who has three dogs? Gunner and Black Doom. Should have taken another dog, I think. So I could have had... Louise would have been the dog. Eh, Louise isn't that great. I guess it's got capacity for a six, though. It's always good. I think we'll play a bit of Ark Nova after this. Who fancies uh, a game if anybody fancies? Might have a game against Randos. I'm feeling like doing some more um, Victory Point missions. Doing some silly stuff in Ark Nova. Always fun. Ha, <laughs> more sixes, huh? They have six in the doghouse already, and I think they just went bust. Whoops. Were you playing arena yesterday or just casuals? Just casuals. I'm not that interested in arena. I want to um, just have some fun. I don't want to get all sweaty with the game, so. Gonna take another dog card. So, I'd like to do something here. I'll reject this, getting some good treats. I don't like any of these. I guess I'll score, because I don't like any of them. Do 
two, three. Unless somebody scores, I should now be able to get the choice of six this time. I am trying to get very sweaty. Got a two-handed game down to 33 turns yesterday. Really trying to crack that 30 turn mark. It shouldn't be that hard to crack 30 turns if you've played a lot of solo because it's very, it's all about the efficiency in solo, so. The problem is, I think, with solo is you tend to get into one kind of line of play. I think because the rounds get shorter and shorter in the solo mode included with the game, at least, extra workers aren't as useful as they might be in an actual two-player game. Yes and no. The big difference is the coffee break. In solo, it's a ticking clock. In multiplayer, it is player choice based. It very much depends on the map as well. If you're playing ice cream parlors, it trends short. If you play something like Hollywood Hills, everyone's nobody's breaking, everyone's playing sponsors. It really does change things. That's a lot of cheats that just got spent. That was a lot of treats. Alright, do we want another dog on a... Mm. Could Not do. Not a single two that entire time. I am cursed. I'd like a treat free. I think I'll take this. I don't want to spend the treat. Okay. A four and a six, which means I'd need exactly five, five or five, three to go bust. I think I'll take my chances. Like if I was to roll over, that is. If roll over's even still there later. Looks like this opponent is trying to complete three dogs in one go. It's hard. It's a big ask, that. I regret spending my treats. I'd like to just double them up a few times. Like, three times in a row. There's going to be a lot of fighting for that, though. Why is my toe so hot? It's not normal, that. I don't really like the topmost dog. I can't take it anyway. Let's do this. I'd prefer a better dog if I take dog. I didn't love Maya either, but you know, it's, at least it has space for six. Kind of important in this game. It's not as good as Louise. I think I probably should have taken Louise when I had the chance, but I just thought I would get those treats. If I can double again, that would be pretty good. It's a very interesting card. So, you probably know this then, Reject. Ew. Is there any card to which you always get in this game? I'm guessing Howl and Rollover you always have? As options? Is that right? Or is it just... We've just happened to have those ones so far? Maybe. Howl and Rollover is standard, yes. Uh, why... Are we not getting you on voice anymore? I don't know. I 
Make funny's going on. Probably cause TTS is worried I might start cursing because I can't seem to roll a too low. <laughs> I still I still haven't fixed the thing with the and symbol. Oh stop it. Stop typing the and symbol. <laughs> That's banned. Banned. John has four dogs, none of which are complete. Reject's turn. I know what I'm doing on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. That is a lot of treats, low. I'm debating if I should double again or if. Hey, Silver Steelen, how are you? Gunner has three dogs already. What? No, wait. No, they don't. That's a lie. Oh, there's no dogs. Can't read, probably. Greetings, Salpastelen. So, if anybody missed the beginning of the stream, I was doing some testing for Stardew Valley, which is going to be our first recording session on Saturday, which is very exciting. Um... All successful. I've been practicing my editing skills. Thanks to Reject again for suggesting some good software and giving me some help. Um, Reject is definitely going to be getting some of these uh, arbitrary victory points that I give out. Yes, in fact, going to dish out two arbitrary victory points to Reject right now. AKA reject. Nice butthole. Yay. Brilliant. Um, choose a trick. Use token, use double their treats. Unbelievable. Some people. Um, Gunner now has four dogs. What? Hmm. Place or bury two of the dice, discard the rest. This is a bit dicey, isn't it? No pun intended. 4-2. Eh, that works. So, as part of that, I managed to accidentally make my mic stop working. So, at the beginning of the stream for five minutes, we had no mic. And also, I dropped the actual physical mic on my big toe, my left big toe. And now the left big toe is very hot and throbbing. Um, and it's extremely warm, basically, and it hurts. Um, I think that brings everyone up to date now. It's a bit sore. What's Gunner doing over there? So sus. No treats for Gunner. Gunner could have doubled their treats. The fool! What? No! There was only two treats left in the supply. I thought I was going to get 30 treats. I I control all of the bones on Arrakis. You treat glutton. I control all of the treats on Arrakis. And Gunner has three solitary treats. I didn't realize I'd only get two more. That's very disappointing. 
and I'm not going to spend them. <laughs> I never knew you were a secret Harkonnen VPG. <laughs> control the treats, control June. <laughs> eh, we'll have to do this, I think. Or should we get a new doge? We can have a new doge. There's a treat on here. Where did that treat come from? Nice. Nice. Very nice. Gonna regret not rolling over, aren't I? But I can always score if we're feeling a bit dicey. Get it? Dicey? Too many bones. <laughs> Dice, why? Dice. <laughs> I don't get it. Too many bones is the name of a game. But I have all of the bones. Get it? Get it? Do you get it? Kappa. No. Oh, there's a tree in the supply. I own too many bones. I do not like it. You don't own any bones, actually. You don't like it. Uh, I played it on stream once. I didn't mind it. But, um... I don't love it. Roll two dice... Uh, I think I just score. To be fair, I can't take any chances. All right, that's fine. We need roll over. I'm not spending any of my treats. I particularly do not like the artwork of too many bones. You don't like the artwork of it. Interesting. It's okay. I think that the little map that you fight on is a bit mm, Okay. Oh, nice. 421. We don't have to spend any of our treats. Lol. Roll another dice. Uh... I believe in rolling dice. Gunner has five ones. There must be a lot of dice in this game. Gunner has one whole dog bone. I have only played it solo, so maybe it is better with more players, but I just found it to be an unwinnable and unfun outing each time. Mm. Can confirm, there are a lot of dice with this game. <laughs> I would imagine there are. What's Gunner going to do? <laughs> Gunner's in a position where rollover is quite problematic. Oh no! Oh no, no, that's fine. Uh oh. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Gunner's gone bust. You know what that means? There's another dog treat. Another dog treat there. If I chew now, I'd have all the treats. Ooh. Now, call me crazy, but I think if I r walk here, I should be able to finish the game. Oh, no. 
I, I can't finish the game because look, I've got do 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 do. I've got four dice to do. Hmm. I guess we're gonna have to do this. Five one. We're gonna need to at least do two of these now. Four three. Come on, give me a double. Got another dice. I need a four or six. Perfect. Nice. Could double my treats again, chat. That'd be fun. Can't wait for you to chew and get all your treats back low. Yep. I wouldn't mind all the treats. We'll see what's the best option when it comes back round to me. I think I just need one more die, so... I think with ten re-rolls I should be able to get what I need, assuming I have an option. I mean, I should win next turn in theory. The treat strategy, guys. The treat strategy for the win. Gonna need 4-5 exactly. Control the treats, control the world. Ha! <laughs> Reject steals the treats. Alright, so if we... We can roll one dice at a time if we howl. Mm, we can roll two dice at a time. That should be fine. That gives you us better, better odds. Turn, that definitely is a better one this turn. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't realize I'd be rolling three. All right, that works. Is that what's wrong with that? Why can't I do this? G G G G. Place for bury two dice. Huh? Is this not right? What does this card say? Place or bury Always two of the dice. Working. Discard the rest. Oh. Place or bury two of them. Ah. It's got the rest. GG! Let's go! Treat strats. How many treats? Had to bury one. Ah. How many treats did I earn? Only 21. Dice lost zero. Nice! <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh my gosh. Victory point Dalmatian. Nice! <laughs> Alright, chats. Let's get Ark Nova. I'm going to give you guys a chance to join in. If you would like to play, you can join this game. Going to give chat first dibs on jumping in on the Ark Nova game with the meme lord himself. Right. J jump in if you'd like. It's going to be um, a casual, casual game. So, if you want to join, you can. I'll be right back. All right. Think I need to get my chores done. Thank you for the games.
All right. Whoops. Sorry. I'm punching the microphone. All right. Let's have a public lobby then. McRolando. Gonna need a bit better reputation than that. How do I bought this lobby? Okay, they've got a good reputation. Cool. Still not too far to find place for Arknova because it's still a premium game, which means there's always more people looking for a game then typically there are people hosting games so all right so guys a little cheeky game of arcing over here and it's on this map i do like this map park restaurant so species we have asia we have herbivores we have small aquatic export and herbies i saw straight away we could go monkey mare as we tend to do here. I think we're going to keep expert on herbies. Have small and aquatic, like I just said. I said it, then it instantly left my mind. We have migration recording. We could go crazy with migration recording, couldn't we? One, two, three, one, two. I'm trying to fit, see how well this thing fits here. If it's right it does about similar work to this one this is slightly easier to play this is slightly better payoff potentially don't love these animals really can find more animals this is crazy oh no small and aquatic small and aquatic Santa control Good golf D lurking. So we're going first here. Possibly an association. What can we see? I don't love this. Could take Asia potentially. I think I'll just take hand size. No animals? Nah, animals overrated. Yeah, that's what I did, yeah. So we'll play expert herbies. Do 
a geological hair as well. This is a three player game, so Expert and Hobbies is going to be fairly lucrative. I suppose we need to prioritize getting this thing surrounded. I'm thinking like this, maybe. Over the sponsor? Mm, I could do it over the sponsor, it's true. For cash. That is true. Play this next. I'm debating of playing Expert and Herbie down for cash. It's going to save us some time. If we were to do it like this, where would we place it exactly though? Park gives X2. I guess we can put it like that, that's not terrible. And then we could get a monkey, oh I like it. Maybe we do it like this. Park does give an X. I don't know if this is kind of expensive, but... Grabbing the monkey is super nice. There is a whole thing going on with the Vulture in the Low Mountain Ranger as well. We could build to take the Vulture and then snap low. Depends on what this player does. They're associating now, which means we... We could build for Vulture and snap. Um, we could build a 3, that's not next to a rock. Can't build a 4 next to a rock right now, which is unfortunate. At least not while taking the uh, bonus. Don't start on monkeys. You can. I can build a four next to rock while take while taking a uh, card bonus. Can I? Because that's what I like to do. Oh no. Maybe I'll just build for this guy then. And draw this. Can afford to play it. So snap low would be good. Yeah, I will get the sound seconds. Low is big game for us because we have migration as well. The Vulture is an excellent release candidate. Size 4 is probably going to go here on this point. We need to get this thing out SAP. Fortunately, no herbivores have been played yet, but I think it's just a matter of time.
Although this round seems to be going very slowly. I think snap lobe is always right. Snap first, then expert. Get low mountain range. Okay, feeling pretty happy about this. I think we expert. Yeah, we'll get expert down. Get that down ASAP. Because Platypus is probably going to get played at some point. We might even be able to stall until we have five money before we, we play the monkey. Eggs. We do have plenty of excess. Cards being drawn now. And we'll get more. Oh yeah. Lots of X's are coming to us. I think we play expert Herbie now. We could do this immediately, but I'm a bit scared of being attacked. Actually, unlikely, very unlikely. They could play the size 3 monkey that requires this handshake, but I'd be surprised. I think they're going for the elephant. Red. 127 rated. They probably are. They will play animals next. Let's do this first. Probably. Just in case they play a herbivore. before. This, I think, is for the elephant. Which is very optimistic, but there you go. We'll stall on playing our animals just in case they have a, anyone has an attack creature. We also might see a hyper warp here. Sorry. I think getting expert down is correct. Another build for blue. Which is interesting. This is a pretty good return on tickets, this thing, especially with... Oof. Interesting. Two and, a, two and then a four. Okay. What's going on here? They lack cash, I guess. So, do we play the monkey now? I guess. We might get attacked, but I don't think it's going to be with a, uh, uh, can club a build. Hmm, maybe not. Ah, so? We all have a bit of money, they're going to animals and then they might break. Hard to say if we should actually clever anything here. Hmm. If we do, if we do clever something, then we can force to break ourselves. That's nice. Probably cards then. Force the break and then we asso and then build afterwards. Because this gives us the ability to break ourselves now. Yeah. Okay. Thank a sponsor. All right. So not many animals appearing. Make it then. Mm hmm. So that's gives gives giving us a little bit more money. We're now protected. I think we 
still would like to force the break. All right, sponsor gets played. They're getting an upgrade here. Upgrading sponsors, sure. And build. Okay. I don't wish to be rude, but I think that red is not too much of a threat from what I've seen so far. I'm a little bit concerned about this sponsors upgrade. So they did this playing down for an institute with money. Nobody has a whole lot of money. I think we'll just go ahead and do our break now. We could equally cards first, and that would... No, because we, we got rid of cards. All right, that's fine. Some discarding happening. All right, 27 money. So, what that does mean is... Two Rapuni, upgrade build next. Hmm. That would be the standard thing to do. I'd like to do low mountain range this turn. We are going to need... Yeah. I think we have to take two rep uni because we can't do anything without the microscope. So it's going to have to be low mountain range next round. All right, hand size goes. So, just remains to be seen. Is Red going to take the university? They're playing somewhat erratically. They might. They might really want the other uni. This is where the three-player dynamic could actually have an effect on us. If it takes that uni, then it's uh, can be an issue. All right, that is cool. Our animals is first upgrade. Respect that. All right, grab our uni and take two rep. Upgrade. We're getting a rep from this anyway, so build makes sense. Also, with build, we can kind of build around this corner if we need be, if needs be. If we need the money that ba badly, we can always do this. It's not ideal, but sometimes we could just build an aviary. Actually, if we build an aviary in that spot, then it only costs us five. All right, Blue has spent all of their money. We're doing okay in the species raced front. I don't think it's too much of a setback to release the bird. We don't have to do it immediately. It would be nice to... You would need to draw other birds then, though. This is true. I would need to draw other birds. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Mm, it's probably worth spending. It's probably worth spending an X to put a, a kiosk now. 
I probably should at least build a kiosk. So I would I like to draw one of these cards? This is a new creature type, to be fair. The Coty is two icons. True, how am I going to draw that? Maybe I don't spend the X of that, I can snap it. But this player can always do that before me anyway. Is this better over here? Hit probably. I've 20 left. Exactly the right amount. Could get sweaty again this. Need to get migration down as well. Cozy goes. Alright. Fair enough. Why didn't I draw this again? Should have done probably. Size 3 ain't bad. Cards upgrade would be nice right now. Might be a rare case of cards getting upgraded first, actually. Oh, we gained more money again. Hooray for free money! Shoot. We're not totally devoid of money. Fortunately, at this point, everyone is short of money, so things aren't looking too bad. Draw this one. All right. Oh, brother. Brother, oh, brother. Look at this. I guess we have to keep this. We'll keep Proboscis. I am low to get rid of Spider Monkey, but... What did the log say about scoring a scoring card? Ah. Elephant. Red played an elephant. Mm, I think... Oh, we have to keep one to keep only. Oh, mm, this should probably be this then. Oh, that's a tough decision. Proboscis is... is nutty, really. Proboscis is huge. I think we can find another small thing. I, I mean... We're going to end up losing this, but... Is it that bad? Maybe not. We'll put, we'll um let this go. Let me take you to Monkey Town. Right. Let me take you to Monkey Town. Actually, technically, that's a primate. Yes, it is rather good. We're going to need a size 5 next to rock, which we can accommodate. Hmm, somebody taking the head for? Thank you. 
Okay. And a snap. So, rock monitor, perhaps? Do we migration recording first? We're not in any rush to sponsors particularly. We'll do it soon enough. We want to get rock monitor there. One. Okay. Two. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Three. Probably not. Look at this hand. What the heck do I get rid of on this hand? Okay, I think we need to presume we're not going to win species, right? So, we keep these projects, we keep this. We have to discard one of our cards. And we're playing this. Uh, we're, we're currently ahead, admittedly. Admittedly, they have one thing to play. This is tricky. This is very tricky. Cave. Cave. Yeah, but... I really want to lean into um, migration. I think migration is going to be important. This is a pretty bad... To be fair, this is a pretty bad release. Savannah on the row too. Savannah as well, true. You want to play low first anyway. That is true. And we also have this. We've got way too many things. Oh, brother. Savannah is actually looking a lot better. Oh, break. Okay. That's hard now. Do we discard eagle? We have the enclosure already for eagle, so no. We don't discard eagle. Oh, it's tricky. Maybe we just got migration recording. Well, we don't have to, I guess. So you think I should get rid of expert and preds? Yeah. I guess we'll we'll um. I guess, I guess not. Snap up Savannah then. Nice having upgraded cards already. I'm liking that, th that free size three. Mm. Okay. Okay. We might have a no handshake game here. It might be a three upgrader. Upgrade animals and then be done with it. So, play migration. So, we're upgrading uh, animals. Kind of need another worker. But because we're releasing, we would probably it's probably be wise for us to get cash, but mm. Yeah. But we can beat them to the bonuses. Alright, here we go. What do we just do species now? Species here now. How much do we value these bonuses? 
what day space is whenever? There's no rush. All right. Now what? Um, how much do we value another worker? Can we do another project this round? Um, we'd need two more workers to do that. It's going to be tricky to say the least. We'd have to forego an upgrade. And I do want to do two. We're already foregoing an upgrade because I don't really will, can't be bothered with handshakes. So, I guess we don't need another worker. So, I guess money. You can get one with Reb. Yeah, that's, that's true. Another rep there. All right, so I'm thinking size three, but this is a decent spot. We want a spot for this guy, probably eventually. Can't do that immediately. This would be, uh, it's not the best of releases. We have a spot for the eagle already. No, I'm talking about with a spot for the Jaguar, but I don't know if that's even going to happen. What we need to think about is proboscis. We could put size 3 here. There's nothing wrong with the free size 3. Drawing a card. Hey, we can draw Savannah. Okay, we're definitely doing that. Drawing Savannah is very nice. Would be nice as well. True. I think we take Savannah. Definitely need this. Cool. Nice. All right. I'm greeting a little bit here because I didn't want to put it up here. And probably I should have put it here. Mm, maybe. Maybe, um, uh, what's this next build going to be? I don't think we build for Proboscis yet, do we? Vixen's not bad release, all things considered. Maybe we do a small build. Small build right now. We could do with the rep. for monitor and one for devil. Two for the monitor, one for the devil. There's a mantle there as well. Ooh. Blimey. Over rep and next to kiosk. The mantle is preposterous. Chuck the devil in size three and release to get it back. Um, this is true. Size three is our smallest enclosure. We can play it from range. That is true. But that's a very good idea, you know. Play Tazzy Devil. Um, nice. I like it. Play Tazzy Devil from range and then release it and get it back. I think we can build first, though. So we build five and a path. We need to make sure we have 14 money left.
It's going to be a long round, this. Will Tazzy Devil get drawn? That's a nice line, I like it. That's a nice line. The plus one rep is super nice too. Okay. Panic Fox is fine as well. Also, playing Fennec Fox puts this in my range. At this point. Taking the adder. Hypnotizing McFrolando. Stunt there first. Mandrill is pretty nice now. Oh, they've undone, which means... Eh, we'll still be able to draw Mandrill. Play Vixen in. We'll draw the Mandrill next. Ah. I think we can get rid of it, I say, maybe. Uh, well, to be fair, it's fine as it is. Probably. The round's going to push forward now. Nobody has anything left, so. Yeah. Probably fine. Income 27. Not too bad. Yeah, to be fair, if we had um, access to a worker now, I would take a handshake because these cards are kind of expensive. I would like things to be cheaper. All right, they're going to draw the adder for sure. Will they draw the mandrill? Pretty nice card for me. They don't. Mount Tapir is going to be in my range now. I think they should, yeah. Mount Tapir is a nice card. I'll draw that one. When we release, we can release from here, and then the Tapir can go in there, potentially. Drawing four, one. Two. I think these two. Nice. Nice. 
Murder Association for Blue. I don't mind breaking five here, actually. If we get another action in a build, maybe. That's fine. I don't mind somebody else breaking. Okay. Native blessings. So, what now? Could do, yeah. Could X something away as well. This is going to give me an X anyway, so might as well. I get an X anyway, so sure. Vixen. Yes, heroic. I was wondering if you were still here. Vixen the Fennec Fox. I played her from range. Alright, so we've just got Dingo. Uh, this thing's not bad. Don't need this thing, probably. I was working out. You were working out? Nice. Very nice. So the downside here is that we have to wait for everyone else to take their turn, but that's always the way when you make a break. Yeah, I think I will get the handshake for free. I would be surprised. Let's work in the water towards Asia. Kind of happy that red is doing Asia because it's going to be one fewer thing for blue to score highly on. Okay, so they're on was a small, right? So our objective now is to deny. We would like to take America Handshake because it's going to stop them from playing this. It's going to make it more expensive for them to play this. We are on mission. Deny small things. We'll probably take snaps, actually. All right, so Blue finally does Species. Oh, no. Red does Species. Right. The monkey's pretty good. Anyway, so we'll probably still take the monkey. Primatologist as well. Okay, dude. Oh. 
cunt. Okay, Vixen is going to be released into the wild. Don't be too upset, heroic logic. She likes it out there. So, I'm thinking Snappy Snaps for control. Mm. Or do we have another project lined up this round? Not really. Unless we release another bird, no. We could do another predator, it doesn't look likely. So I think it's probably fine. So let's just take some more money. Empty the size three next to rock for the lemur. For the lemur, yes, that, this is true. I think snaps. Monkeys all the way. Could. It's either it's bit it's between snaps and uh, and money. I think snaps. Nobody's going to take this. This might thing. This is money effectively. Let me take this one. We definitely take one of the small ones. How about we take this so that they can't do this one and then... And then we... And then we take this one. Oh, scoring cards? Oh no, guys! Why did nobody tell me I had scoring cards? I forgot there was scoring cards in this game. G guys! My scoring cards! Who knew? So I was thinking I was snapping this one. Because this one is now not playable to blue. And we are playing really against them, trying to deny smalls. This is not playable to them currently. And this one is now in my hand. So. so I think better building wouldn't go amiss here. Multiply cards would be nice. Let me take you to Monkey Town. Let me take you to Monkey Town. Actually, technically, that's a primate. That is true, it is a primate. Okay. There's a lot of small things visible. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know why that was so loud. Taking a uh, Americas is actually looking really nice for me here. Try to pick up protection. No. True. Perhaps not. Some bathing would be nice there.
I'm thinking use I can use the animal's rep bonus to deny another small creature and then play Capuchin from range. Oh, I don't want to attack. Uh, why? I don't want to attack red. <laughs> Darn it. Hey, to be fair, they've got a lot of money to give me, so that's fine. Panda, it's Herb and Asia and Small. True. Herb and Asia. That's true. It's a legit creature. What's giving you 27 income? Nah, go full primates. Going full primates, huh, guys? Hmm, they got nothing to pilfer. Although we could pilfer a card and then sell it. They can give me that card. Give me a card, buddy. Hmm. Can we afford both of these? Nine plus fifteen. Yeah, we can. Oh, poor Red. To be fair, they got the most points, so screw them. Oh, they have the money to give me now. Even better. Cut out the middle man. Right. The middle monkey. Alright, anything that's not a monkey is getting sold. Not a monkey, not a monkey. Mm. <laughs> Alright, I'll save you. You're an honorary monkey. Eagle is honorary monkey. It is an honorary, honorary monkey. Exactly. Hey, look! It's another honorary monkey. The eagle has landed. All hail the emu. All hail the emu. I for one welcome our new feathery overlord. The eagle has landed. Hey, who's going he's attacking to me? An eagle if they say I'm a monkey. Bloody heck. Right, so... No one's cute like LeBron. No one poops like LeBron. No one eats all the plants in my zoo like LeBron. Very true, that. Ha ha. Am I bothered about being... attacked? Tiny songs, best songs. I should probably draw cards, right? Just draw cards. Thank 
you. Small thing. Did I even have a petting zoo? Yeah. They do have an Australia. Maybe I'll draw that thing. Monkey mad. I've gone monkey mad! That's not a monkey. Do we want another handshake? Why didn't they just end the round? I think I just break, honestly. I don't think I give a hoot about actually getting a, another handshake. Or do I play animals? I could animals into break with the eagle. With one of the various eagles. I could I don't mind animals into break. Or is that a waste? I like eagle Tell break. Her. Now you have the second. I like eagle break. Break first. Break first, let's go golf. I don't know, it's a free break um with the eagle. Hang on. Eagle and proboscis next. Yeah, but I have a spare eagle. Is this going to work? They know about this one. They, I think they know about them both. I'm not sure if this works with... I don't have to pay Venom yet, do I? Oh, it was the right card anyway. Oh, that's fine. Alright, fine. I couldn't do radically played it. No, screw that. Thirty-seven. So this means because Proboscis is expensive. Uh, I'm never playing this. Ooh, a release. Mm, do I want to stop constriction? Uh, do I need the release even? Maybe I want to avoid being constricted. I have no, you know what? I have all the extra because in the world, actually. Screw it. Let's control the release. So, proboscis needs to happen. We need a lot of money to make this happen. Eh, it's fine. I forgot what project we're doing now. Hmm. That's for doing species. My species kind of stinks. Aso five, get twenty three cash. Eagle and Pros bosses next turn. What am I aso fiving for? Twelve cash. Yeah, but what project am I doing? I guess I guess it has to be species. Diversity. Yeah, it'll have to be. I don't love it, but get another workout. Get twenty three cash. But then no third worker. Oh, need worker. 23 cash. Mm, I think we just play Proboscis and then do the monkey project. Mistype meant 12. All right. 
Meh. The two conservation points I don't think is worth the worth the hassle. I think we just play Proboscis and maybe this guy. That's 44. <sighs> Still short on money. Maybe we don't play this guy. I have plenty of X's. This is true. I'd love to play this and this. That'd be ideal. I think I'll just play Proboscis right now. I think this is a safe move to avoid maybe losing, getting pilfered. All right. Yeah, I could do. All right. Mm hmm That is fine. Get rid of the monkey too. That's true. That's a darn good point, actually. Antheon. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I can Antheon. And then that get, only gets rid of one monkey icon. I can still do primates afterwards. So I can associate twice. That's a good, very good point, Selper Stealing. I think we Antheon first. It's. It's one of the, it's one of the worst releases in the game, but yeah, but it's still an eight point play. However, if we do this, we can't we can't get cash if we're getting another worker. Is the problem? I'm not totally convinced about that. Cause sure, we'd be able to. Do another project afterwards, but what are we going to do with 10 money? Questionable. I think we just do primates now. So I think it's still the question worker or another thing. Um. Having done this, we'll be on 76. Plus Eagle is 84. I think no matter what happens, we have to break, which means we don't need another worker. We can't do it this round, so it's a moot point. We can eagle into breaking again, possibly. Depending on where the um, thing's at. Three. Currently, can break for six. We 
we still don't particularly want to release this. If we break, we could actually make an enclosure for this, to be fair. This is a big. Can we play one thing plus build? Oh, 76 points, actually. We can might be able to scrape it, you know. Not the monkey. But 84. Samarin is a 12 point card, putting us on 88. What's a player ground? It's worth four as well. It's almost worth nine, Tamarin. Twelve points for twelve money is pretty insane. Yes, I understood that part. Think we X build maybe? Do we want to build a size 5? 12, that's a 20 point between these two into the release. So we don't need to build again. Just need to get a break happening. Break it then and next move. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. How much do I need? I need... Hang on a second. I only need... Oh no, I have to break to get my worker back. That's right. Unless there's a way I can finish with these two and like play a sponsor or something. Twenty four. Hey, if I play Water Playgrounds, it's enough to end this round. If I play this plus this plus this. I would need 32 money. So I'd have to sponsors for five. What's this? Practice time check. I'm debating sponsoring for five. Followed by double animal into... Into water playground. That would secure me the win. I would say almost certain. Sponsor only five money. Uh, sponsor gives five money. Oh, he doesn't give ten. Oh, you're right, it only gives five. I'm not used to unupgraded sponsors. All right, we break. Plenty of monkeys, chat. Mm hmm Indeed. Nice. All right, so everyone's going to get two more moves. I think we're probably all right. Look at the cards in hand. Why is my, my toe still so hot? I have a hot foot.
We've had X tokens for days in this game. We have monkeys in the park, and we have honorary monkeys. Other things are banned. Or should we snap this annoying thing? Over under on 13 X's total this game? Mmm. I'd say less. If you take X's reward underscore carrot. <laughs> That's not happening. Might take a free reptile house. It might, because this is such a bad release, it might even be better to animals afterwards, because we have a lot of money now. What am I talking about? I've got no space. I am talking rubbish, chat room. That is true. The eagle is also a monkey. It would be nice to have nine monkey icons. We could eagle into build and to play more monk more animals. We could eagle tamarind. No, that's going to probably end the game, right? Six monkeys to provide nine icons. Six to nine. Nice. Oh my gosh. Nice. Why can't you just click all these things for me? Come on, brother. I can't even build a size five. Sag. Ah oh, well, chat room, I guess we are not playing the manual this game. Animals 5 would have given you another X tongue. Yeah, but it would have cost an X. Guys, what are you talking about? So this is worth 6 minus 10, wait, 18 minus 10 yeah. is 8 points, and if I just do this, it's not as good. But, for rewards, so. but I guess the order in which you take your rewards matters with tickets and shields. Yeah, probably. What do we want? I'm not taking anything that gives X's. Absolutely not. Band. I'll do this. Too many points, chat. We maybe we should have released this thing. We probably should have released that actually, and then we could have played the man Bureau. We had too many things to play anyway. GG! 
deliberately did not gain any more X's, just for that. Oh, guys! I only have six monkeys. So, we ignored the base projects chat, as was written in the prophecy, as was foretold. We went full monkey. This was a fun game. Ignored base projects, focused monkeys, and won handily. I am very impressed. Migration recording. We did some releases, guys. We started with four sponsors. I think these are the four sponsors we started the game with. Proboscis was pretty big. We didn't score any endgame. The only endgame point we got was from Baboon Rock. Who <laughs> <laughs> needs endgame cards anyway? What? 28 turns, bro! 28 turns with the monkey memes. This is a ridiculous. Look at the income! Nice. G G. G. Look at this! Seven hash slash. Full selection of monkey Very emotes. Impressed. <laughs> ha ha. Fifteen Monty X's. Ah, uh, no, thirteen X's. It was exactly thirteen. I'm glad it didn't take any more. Actually, oh, fifteen gained. Ah. Oh. 15, I was wrong. 13x used. 13 used. 15 gained. Brother. 15 gained. Colon me. Could me. have been more. Could have been more. G, G, chat room. That was good. I like that game. This game's more fun when it's not so sweaty and you can just do stupid things. My favourite mission in Ark Nova is trying to get six bears. But people always hog the bears. Oh wait, hog is pigs, isn't it? We have time for a shorty. Sweaty says the 28 turn ender. <laughs> Not so sweaty says 28 turns. So sweaty, but you won easily in 28 turns. Oh, come on. I didn't even play the... I agree, Gunner. At least I didn't slow roll. Colon D. Listen, listen here, you guys. <laughs> Look. Listen up, buddy. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Look, you mean and your monkeys stomped the competition. <laughs> the black and white LeBron. It was not even appropriate to the situation, but I just love it so much. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> this is slow fade out. I love the slow fade out. Alright, um. I will say. I have had six bears in a solo win. Oh, that does not count. You can't count solo. Okay, it counts fine. Fine. I think I won with 154 points total. Whoa, that's a lot of points. Um, oh, we have time for one more. One more game, which means if we play Arts over again, it'd have to be a two-player game. Or we just say... Screw it all and play another three-player, even if it takes 
a bit longer. I think it runs a bit longer. Mm. How long was that game? 75 minutes? I think we might be getting faster, guys. Are we getting faster? Maybe we could play another three player game. Could play Summitel's a bit quicker. Summitel's a bit quicker. Could do. All right. Well, um, make a suggestion. I'm going to go and pee. I wash my hands and come back. Suggestion D. Wingspan. All right. Earth. Wingspan. Earth. Two slash Ooh. three pn. I'm in for any plus any other suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. We could have wingspan or Earth or an arc nova. Any of those would be fine with me. So I'll let you choose. Which would you rather? Victory points gaming. You can choose. Gana, 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 gana. What do you fancy? I would rather wingspan up as I missed the game yesterday. Oh, okay, cool. Wingspan. Hey guys, it's time to play. It's time to play Wingspan. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Nice. All right, yo, let's do this. So, online game, custom game. I'm sure we can convince Reject to join us. Do you want to join us? Gunnell. I can never find people in this list. Why is it not at least alphabetical Could or something? Co coercify rejects will play there's no doubt no doubts rejects will play oh I need to sneeze and this one not making any sound bless Sayo. it won't come out this sneeze is project here Project is hiding. Hello? Thank you, Reject! Oh, 
I want to get a coffee. We'll see if Jack wants to play. Sure. Otherwise could start and the restart if they respond in next five minutes or so. I am here. Sorry, stepped away. No worries, nice smile. VPG just making a coffee. Like the use of coercify gun alarm. Colon D. Coercify? Ooh, I'm last. Let's investigate the scenery. A perfectly nice wooden woodland. We have a woodland, we have a grassland, we have the water the waterways. With my Tom, I don't see my hand or anything. We're gonna just admire these. Hang on a second. Isn't there one an, object, oh, an objective card which is like have birds with the name parts of the body in them? If you see what I mean. Yes. One of the end games is. And I don't think Tixisil counts. <laughs> don't see why. Neither does Bush did. What? Bush did is two parts of the body. This is an hour age. LOL. All right, so we need eggs. So that's all. All right, egg and did do, do, do like that, yeah. And then birds with that type of nest. Birds in that zone. Birds in that zone. Okay. I wish we could look at our cards while the other players are doing their thing. I guess it's maybe it's a. Uh, in fact, I don't see any good reason why that would be the case. It's just making things long for no reason. That would be a very good change. Hmm. 
so it needs to move a bit. Got a weird little purple thing on the top. <laughs> it's gone. Nobody knows about the weird little purple thing. Hmm. It doesn't align anymore, but... I think also seeing an easy way to see opponent points would be a nice improvement as well. You can't see your own points even. I think if they want this to be a serious platform for competitive play, you should be able to see everyone's points at all times, because nothing is hidden in terms of points apart from endgame cards, obviously. So all visible points should be tossed up for you, I think, if it's going to be a competitive platform. Alright. So, two burns, two burns. Alright, my turn. So we have... Let's start by looking at the endgames. This, which I don't really like, had that last time. And this one. This is even rarer. But it could scale to the moon. Hey! Ships and blips! Appreciate the follow. That's really cool of you, thanks. Um, yeah, I guess... I guess this is not bad. She's one of the player you both lay an egg. <laughs> uh, we're definitely going to need... This is the same thing. <gasps> you both lay an egg. That's really cool. Um, a power which is kind of... A power which is off-region is always interesting. Um, I guess we'll keep this and we'll go for... This one? I kind of like this one too. It would make sense. However, they have put more coding into atmosphere like moving birds, chirps, and background animation. It makes it cozy, but I would prefer the competitive editions as well. I know, teaming. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, we do kind of need something which can make food. This is really cool. This is good for the end game. This is... I guess we're going to keep these three. And that'll stop us from having to do a card action for a while, at least. In theory. Keep Cherry. We'll keep this. We'll keep this. Maybe we start with this one, actually. But we are. Oh, but we also get a... Uh... We also get a free Nectar, which is worth remembering. To be fair, the other one's probably easier. But then we really do need to max that out. I like this because it's scalable. Let's go with that one. Okay. So there's only... Really? Is, is there really only one thing we can play immediately? Huh? It's not right. We can play any of these. Oh, we're not in the right zone. It is pretty to look at like look at it this way. But I find it's more practical to look at it this way, which is not as pretty, but there you go. Because we're playing with the Oceana expansion, this board is different. Um, and also there's a new resource called Nectar, which we start with one of. It is a wild resource, effectively. My turn. So you drew birds. You played a Spangled Drongo, say that three times fast. Um, this we don't want to do initially. We don't have great card draw. So maybe we're putting this in that zone eventually. Spangle Drongo, Spangle Drongo, Spangle Drongo. Uh, I don't know, laying an egg. Hmm, torn. Gaining grain is not that great. I guess this is quite nice. So this costs a worm. Do I want to spend a worm? I'd rather have the versatility, so let's change that for now. Princess Stephanie's Astrapia. This bird was named in honor of Princess Stephanie of Belgium in 1884. Wish I had a bird named after me. A victory point, Mallard. Doesn't, doesn't count. 
If we go to a different view, can we see all the details of the bird? We can. So that's that. It's a pretty bird. And the neat thing about this game, probably the best thing, is you can click it and it makes the bird sound. Wait, it didn't work. Sounds like a car alarm. Get out of here. It's rubbish. All right. So now this, when activated, you both lay in an egg. Uh, we're going to get free eggs. Somebody else might get free eggs. How do we feel about the birds we can see? We don't see anything in the blue zone. The dick sizzle is... All of this is really bad. Don't know if you heard, but they are renaming all the birds that are named after people. Are they? I didn't know that. Sounds like the start of a joke. This needs to go in this zone, I think. I think so, yeah, let's do that. Well, we're officially out of food. The nice thing about this is we can at least get eggs. Perhaps we can choose a player who doesn't have a bird that can hold eggs or... Look at this! What does this do? When another player gains a nectar, gain a nectar. That's rather good. Man, my powers aren't that good. I think maybe we need to get cars. We do kind of need another worm. I guess we're dodging nectar then. Let's do this. These are also expensive. I don't want this. We are roughly trying to keep get this type of nest. Well, that's rubbish. Suck a card to draw a card. Yeah, we like that. <laughs> Don't love most of this, though. Okay. Not impressed at all. As you know, some people aren't always the best, but instead of renaming just a few birds named after bad humans, they're renaming them all. Hmm. As you know, some people aren't always the best, but instead of renaming just the few birds named after bad humans, they are renaming them all. Fair fair. How do we know if this has triggered this round? I don't love any of these. I think it's a good time to draw food. How do I know if this has triggered this round yet? Or it would it would be marked as as it's already been triggered, wouldn't it? There is a sparrow named after a slave owner. All right. Um, I'm gonna alternate, I guess, but I'm gonna have to give up an egg here. I'll give one to reject. 
I'm a bit concerned about this power to get free nectar. We're not going to score very well on any of this. I don't mind it, especially if we can get more names like Dixisel and Bushtit Lull. <laughs> Thanks for the egg. Okay. I'd like to do this. I'm get food. I don't know. It's not about that. I don't like these symmetric powers. It's not even symmetric, it's helping one of your opponents and not the other. Doesn't feel that great. I feel like I'd like to draw more birds, so... Bro. I wouldn't mind playing this. I love this game, but it is so hard seeing beautiful birds with rubbish powers. My favorite bird, mm. the great blue heron, yeah. is so underwhelming. This isn't bad. Holds no eggs. Rubbish. This is rubbish. Oh, come on. Just not finding anything good. I guess I could play this. <sighs> it's not even that good. I like the birds. I like playing the cardboard version of the game. Stonemeyer released a set of cards with art submitted by the public. It is quite fun seeing all the unique and interesting pieces of art. I don't know what I'm going to do this game. It's not really going my way. Maybe I should try and play this. I don't even know. I guess we should try and play this one. Have an egg. This 
this could be a way with this and the other one this could be a way to ignore one row which is probably the direction i need to go which means i score nothing here this stinks but we're pretty flocked i don't <laughs> i don't know what to say i'm trying to think of a bird pun i don't know what we're gonna do exactly just realize that the victory point cat is in the wrong place <laughs> kind of blocking the hand. Uh, you laid eggs, did you? You little egger. Play this one. Bend an egg. Uh, let's move kitty. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Get it. Actually, now that I come to think about it, because we're still playing Arc Nova, you can go back to where you originally left. In the normal place. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Hang on, which endgames did I keep? Oh no. So, oh no, no, I'd played it, right, that's cool. Don't play anything at the moment. Got a card to draw to get another thing that might be interesting. Nah. I don't think we're going to score anything for any of these goals, except for maybe the last one. I'm liking this though. It's really Bad, though. When another player gains this, it doesn't say from the bird feeder. I don't think we can get this. We can't activate it, like, effectively. We've had a restart. I still don't see anything that useful here. I'd like these worms.
I guess we'll play this one down. This is probably not getting played. I think that we need six extra cards. We should reset. Hmm. Maybe we send this to the food area. This would be so good as well. How do we do it? Oh no! Flip. It's awkward. Remember if we can spend two food as a nectar, I guess we'll soon find out. It's so bad. I don't think we can do it. Even though I know I just The thing is, Gunner has a thing where whenever anybody gains any nectar, they gain a nectar for free. Playing, trying to play around that. It's a bit problematic. Can we play it? Apparently we can. Oh, screw it. It's going to give us free eggs, though. I think it's terrible. This is good to reset, so maybe we don't want to put too many things here for now. I think we reset. I have to spend a food. Oh, come on. 
Are you joking? That's quite good. Well, I guess I thought hey, it would be hard to find birds that match this power. Uh, that was wrong, very wrong. It is hard to find birds that match that power. Flat out, draw a card. That's pretty nice. We need to focus on playing birds that give points. Maybe I should play this. And then this. Doable. who wore yellow hoods. So we're focusing on the one row which we don't need, which is nice. Classic. VPG being as what's the word contrary as possible that's the word contrary don't have enough eggs what disaster that's a good place to hit here I'd rather have it up here, though. Fine. Fine, fine. the mallard can probably go because it's nice but it doesn't give any points and that is not good should we draw cards hmm. so we can't discard a worm and we can't do this we can't do this this is why it would have been better for it to be up there. Maybe we should have just egged. I guess we're going to have to actually take um, a bona fide. Oops. Nectar here. Mm, don't scamp. Alright. Mm. Give one to somebody. If I give it to Gunner, they don't gain a bonus one. Oh, it lands some eggs. Oh, it's on yourself, is it? Oh, I see. Gunner already got some food, so we'll give them more food, why not? And we'll give you an egg. 
Get me an egg. Well, we've got some bonus eggs, I guess. I think I'm nodding well. I suppose it's good for us to draw cards at the beginning of the next round. At least our birds are worth a few points in the top zone. Suppose we need to play this one and try and find a new bonus card. There's a fine balance in board games between having lots of directions you can go in strategy and being very reliant on, well, being very shoehorned by like the end game goals you have and feeling like your player powers or whatever are directing you too much in a direction to go. See here, I've chosen to, to ignore the yellow zone. That's my own choice. However, sometimes, I mean, it was also my choice to choose this endgame goal. And, you know, I've got to live with the consequences of that. But I can't draw cards right now. So I'll take this one. How many am I getting? Two. One. Get rid of an egg or a food or a nectar to get a card. I don't want to do that. Ah, I just got a worm to get um, a thing from the supply. Sure. Took a card from hand. Yeah, I guess I do want to do that, so. This is not very really many points. Where is it? My one quibble with this game is it's hard to select cards sometimes. Ah, yeah. Did it kind of trigger it that time? I still don't know when this is triggered and when it's not. I feel like it should have triggered that because I gained the next turn during my turn. So we need to play this little lot here. Yeah, I understand the principle, I just don't understand like how you find that out. Like, if you want to check the log. Mm. Talk. Okay, so we're wanting like this and this, that's two worms. Or a worm and a corn, so we can play the both of those right now. With a one egg discount, that's quite nice. So we can play... The The Warbler and the Mallard. It is at least inexpensive. It's nice, it is a touch confusing. I think I prefer it to be J overall. It's quite nice. I do recommend it. And it's not that expensive, it's like less than 10 euros, which is... Apparently, the going great for board game adaptations is like 20 euros or something like that, which is a bit high, in my opinion. I think 5 to 10 euros is fine for board game adapter clients, in my, in my opinion, like. Um, oh, nice. What am I doing? Um, I guess I'm doing this. I need to try and get in the running on this. The app has the expansions. I am much less a fan of just the base game. The base game is too tight for me. Oh, 
Australian reed warbler. These birds like to perch on dense vertical wetland vegetation like reeds and rushes. Okay, I played a couple of birds. All of these bluebirds are such poor value though. I love the bird theme, but I'm not the biggest fan of the actual game. I think the game is quite neat. I think it does require... It's... A little bit more interesting with the expansions. Uh... I think it's not bad. I don't know if it's necessarily aimed at experienced board gamers. I think it's quite a good beginner strategy game for a lot of people. And the theme is quite nice. Like, a lot of board games are in space or, you know, are fancy themes. And this is a bit different, which I like. Although wildlife is really hot right now for some reason. We could play one of these if you do to a card. Draw any bonus card, and then gain a card, or lay an egg on any bird. Oh wait, this has to be in the right zone. I guess we're doing this. This would require spending on nectar, which is not what we want to do. I guess we'll do that later. What are we taking? We do need a cherry, so... Last round's gonna be absolute terrible. See, we're not doing very well on end games, we're not doing well on end of round scoring, we're not doing very well on nectar scoring, so I think this game is not smelling too good, frankly. It's starting to get a bit dark. There we go. Yes, yeah, it's a little bit somber outside. Massive rain cloud. It's not as late as it seems, it just seems late because it's so dark out there. So, for everything you might say about this, I think that the adaptation is reasonably Do you change priced. Your clocks this weekend? Do we change our clocks this weekend? That's a good question, actually. I will Google that. When do the clocks go forward in the UK? Thirty-first of March. So, yes, that would be this Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Nice. We need to be maximizing ticket points here. Oof. Means I will have to be prepared for a change in the start time of your stream low. This is not probably needed. Let's do this one. Colon D an hour early right. Okay, 
an hour earlier. I have to be prepared for change in the start time of your stream. Yeah. So the clocks are going... I never know. So the clocks are going forward. How did you know the clocks were changing in the UK? I'm impressed, frankly. All of the EU changes at the same time. Yeah, well, that does make sense. US changed a couple of weeks ago. I think it would be chaos if people changed at the different times. I hope I haven't broken my toe. I watch a few UK YouTubers and their premiere times change different from mm. here in the US. Yes, that's true. Because when I, I, I've had it in the past where I've been, um, you know, playing playing video games or whatever regularly with a friend in the states, and sometimes there's a four hours difference, sometimes it's five. So I know that it's not synchronized with the time the clock changes. Guess we, guess we need to start making a, a, a move on the middle row at this point. Also, my brother lives in Italy, so I need to be aware of his time for when we chat. Any card or lay an egg? Sets so completed. One. Okay. I think we need to at least get to here. They really benefit from a star on this right now. Chemo. Yeah, probably. I think eggs are going to be more of a uh, valuable resource to me. Why is it giving me more bar here? Like I can go past, past this point. They should just do away with the time change. It's hard for me to comment on that because it's for the farmers and stuff, isn't it? So it's for people who need to work outside effectively. Um, so, I mean, it's easy to have strong opinions on that, but I've never worked outside probably. Have I worked outside a day in my life? I don't think I have actually. Maybe once or twice. So it's hard for me to say, oh, you know, oh, I've always worked indoors. So it's hard for me to say, oh, you know, we should change it because I'd, it would be advised by zero experience. So maybe it's a good reason why the clock should change. Playing another bird, I guess. Can play another bird. Good point. Just because it is a challenge for me doesn't mean it doesn't benefit others. Let's see, is this actively gonna give us another set? No. It's not. Is the other one gonna give us another set? We have th four bowls, we've got know, two parent, of those, we've got two of those, we only have one of these, so this doesn't actually score us points, so let's do it. We could even put that there. Ah, screw that, that we'll do that. Let's be reasonable for a change. 
Mississippi kite. These birds mostly eat large insects, but they'll also eat rodents, bats, and birds. Rejex is always strong on it, on these um, round girls. The further north you get, the bigger difference between summer and winter. Rejex says, as a parent, raising children through two time changes a year is a mess. Yeah. I bet. What I don't like is in winter, and I don't think this can be attributed to time changes, but I don't like it when you have, um, it starts to get dark like 3 p.m. This is just me doing the thing where I complain. As an old man, six? How'd you have six? What? How, how's six possible? Colon D. Wait, what? Because I am cheeky. How'd you have six? Cheeky little grey lag. I have a bird that counts double. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm finding zero from my first goal here. It's absolutely terrible. I mean, I knew it was a small percentage, but honestly, we have not had much joy. To be fair, we have two, but I mean... Needs two more eggs, I think. At least. Ugh. We need food as well. This is a good card. Not finding any cards that are worth anything either. This is fine. Well, where is it even? This one. I 
Just beginning spending a card for extra food. In the best of games for me. How do you feel it's gone, the two of you? Gunner's power to be able to uh, get free nectar is pretty nice. This grey lag goose was huge. Got mugged there. For I get, I finally scraped together for a few points, and that never happened. So we have one, two, three bowl burns. We have one, two, three of these burns. We have one, two, two clusters. We have two of these. So if we can get a cluster and a dilt mast, that'd be good. Which is the one we wanted to play already? This one. It's not either of those, is it? Alright, let's do this. We're wanting a worm. Gonna need free eggs as well, probably. Yeah, I think it's gone all right. Drunk around one is kinda good. Nice. Mm, do we need a cherry? That's quite good, actually. Do we have a grain? We need a grain. Gonna gain more grain probably. Okay. Right, so we 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 will give up a one of those. If you walk without rhythm, you won't track the worm. Bad news is we still don't have enough food for this thing. How have we managed that? I need to play this thing down with a rat, maybe. the way So we have five food, so technically we can play this. She 
use habitat with no eggs. Oh, that's really good. We actually do want to play this. Hmm. Lacking food. I guess we'll try try this. We'll, there's a slim chance we can play everything. We're lacking eggs. We have enough eggs to play multiple times. So we want to play the the rat for sure. The likelihood that Australian Owlet Nightjar. Likelihood that we get to play three times is pretty unlikely, I think. I don't think anyone's going to be taking food right now. We can do this for a grain. Hey, we can afford two more things. This one's worth doing. We're just gonna get mugged off again. No, probably. So, if we do this one, we can't do our scoring one. But that's worth five points more. This is worth two points more. So, effectively, they're the same cost. Do we need more bowls? One, two. No, we're technically not. This thing is pretty cheap and it's a new set, so... Really worth doing. Is sometimes called the doodle do because of its distinctive song. Two sets. Ah, okay. So that has secured us the points we needed there. Okay, nice. We don't have to do any more of those. That's good. Should have read that closer. I thought it was three points per set. So this is a five pointer. Not that exciting when you put it like that, is that? But we definitely need to play something in the correct zone, which we will be doing. This isn't bad either. Well, I suppose it's a moot point. We'll just do this. Food is a tiebreaker. So this is... Is food a tiebreaker? I think it is, actually. I don't think it's going to come to a tiebreaker though. Alright. So, didn't get scammed that time. 
nice. I think that's possibly the most birds I've had in this game. 14 is quite a lot of birds. The ones at the top's got a lot of points. The ones in the middle and the bottom didn't score many at all. Disproportionately large number of bowl birds. Never did play this one. I wasn't expecting us to fill these two out. We filled, we managed to score. Well, let's not talk about this. But otherwise, it was okay. Total score not that great, and this was atrocious. Nice. Reject keeping Gunner in check there. Gunner's running away with it there on that. Alright. GG. Nobody had a whole lot of eggs. It's closer than I thought. Oh, brother. Wow. G G. Thirty-seven tucked. Yikes. G G. Wow. Thirty-seven tucked cans. Let's have a closer look at this. Look at this. How's this got yeah, five? Got luck with the chaffinch at the end. Ah. That wetlands was full of birds, Gunner. Choose wow. one to three birds in your wetlands. Tuck a card from your hand behind each if you tuck at least one card, draw a card. Oh, yes. Wow. These are from the European expansion, I think. <laughs> yeah. Chiff chaff. Chiff chaff, even. Tip mouse. Wowzers. That was quite nice. Very good. Well Love. played. GG everybody. I liked the game. It was fun. Alright my lovelies. Well the perfect timing. Uh, it's about time for us to wrap things up. I appreciate uh, all of you. For hanging out with me. Some enjoyable games. Played some good stuff, didn't we? At the start was super powerful too. Yes, it really G -G. put me off from Thanks taking Nectar, but it didn't really help. I mean, I don't. I think I took Nectar two or three times the whole game, reject, yeah. but it was really, uh, it was really a beating. It's a very problematic card there. All right, GG everybody. I think it's pretty strong there. That was a nice one to have initially. Let's roll the credits here. Thank you very much to everybody who's been around today. Uh, thanks again, because we had a sub from Reject yesterday, which is still very much appreciated. We'll go ahead and roll the credits, get a little bit of music on for that last part of the stream, and we will say thank you all for watching. Um, lurkers too. I haven't forgotten about your lovely lurkers. Let's see who we can go ahead and raid. See who's live right now. Anybody? Any board gamers? Um, somebody's playing June Beast board game. What is that? Thanks, Opus Dealing. Absolutely, no worries, no worries. It's nice. I like um playing games with you guys. It's good fun. All right, um, yeah, well, I guess we'll check out Studio Mid Hall. I'm not familiar with their channel. Looks quite professional. All right, we're going to go ahead and raid. Guys, we'll be back tomorrow. And um, hit me up on Discord if you're interested in playing some games tomorrow with me. Let me know. It's kind of an open... Um, what's the word? 
it's a kind of um, open running invitation. If anybody would like to play games on, on together with me on the stream, just let me know on the Discord because pretty much every day um, I'm asking, does anybody fancy playing something today? So I typically will prefer to play games with um, you guys. I play games with random lobbies, but I like to play games with you guys if possible. So if you are available, let me know and we'll play something together. Gonna go ahead and raid now. I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching and take care. KL KL, I'll let you know. Smile. Thanks, Gunner, and thanks, Rejects. See you guys later. Bye. Have a great day, all. Thanks you too, Sulpa Steelin. Thanks everybody who's been around chit chatting and hanging out. Appreciate you guys. You see you later. Bye, heroic. Bye, guys.